know what's crazy? Uh -huh. The Bible said that his mercy is what? Every what? No. His mercy is renewed no, every, every moment. <laughs> so every day you wake up every is a day. new day. Yeah. So every time you come in here, that's your first time. Okay. You've never been here before. You never, you never been in this day before. So she got her feet. <laughs> so to as far as today concerned, right? She's a first time visitor. Yeah. And the truth be told, we all first time visitors to this day. Yeah. Now, I don't know about last Sunday. Yeah, I'm about Sunday before that. I'm about this week. This week. Brother Brennan, you, call, said, Brother Brennan, you said something so important, man. Mm -hmm. Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. You every, every day is your birthday. Every, every day is your birthday. Your birthday is renewed. Your birthday is renewed. You know what? I don't know. What if you got off with the food and they didn't taught us in these churches, right? And the thing is, like you said, Brother Brett, mm -hmm. we need to be prepared for the ending right. of time. Right. Not what we've been told, not what we've been taught for right now. Now, watch this. In the 18th chapter of Revelation, verses 4 through 8, the Bible tells us about how she paid us and how she gave us. And then the Bible said that we ought to repay her. Repay me, do but God said, come, 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 come out of her. Don't go, don't, don't get into her. Why? Because I'm going to deal with her for her sinful ways. Right. right? Okay. Right. Now, we get caught up in the sin. We get caught up in the world. Right. But God said, her plague is coming. Right. Her judgment is coming. Judgment. But I need y'all to come, right? But she done gave y'all the technology. She done gave y'all the science. Right. She around here to create man in the men, right. women in the She recreating things. They right. ain't right. giving y'all this education. They man that give y'all all this comfort. Watch out, they man that give y'all all this pleasure. Watch out. You got more people in a football it. game uh -huh. for pleasure than getting the word of God. Why? Because that's what it is all about, a system. Uh -huh. Now, the church has prepared us just as works. You're going to get a house. You're going to get a car. You're going to have a baby. You're gonna, that's comfort. Now, what is any of that have to do with God? Because none of that needs you to go. Watch out. You will get that from the world. Yes, sir. Comfort you will get from the world. Yes, Pleasure you will get from the world. Education you will get from the world. Recreation you will get all that from yes. the world. When do any of that come from God? And that's what has happened in the world. Now, watch this. Oh, glory to God. We fussing and we talking about everything. Hallelujah. We got, we got white folks against black folks, right. but that's the red folks. Because right. it's going to cause that type of division, right? right? But now, we got all of these smart people in the church. With all these small people in the church, why do you teach us nothing? Now, I said, Brother Brother, you can do this. We're going to say we're the, we the Hebrews, we the Israelites. Right, right. And now you got black folks that are going against white folks, right? Okay. Right. right. Mine. The white folks was in their name, which was the Cain. Right. Canaanites are white folks, right? Okay, now. God sent Israel where? To Canaan. To Canaan. Right, right, to Canaan. Right. What they did to be? <laughs> they ran about their land, right? Yeah. What'd you say, boss? <laughs> But y'all teach enough to hate the white man. But if we the real Israelites, we the Hebrews, we did it to the white folks first. What? You ran them up. Cowboy. Never got to teach you that. <laughs> Watch it, boy. We have to end the time. Get rid of all that hate. Get rid of all that hate. Get, get rid of all that strength. Don't focus on that. Focus on gold. Because the world has messed us up. Right. Right. Throw the Bible to the side. Watch this. Mike, watch this. We in the end of the time, right? We done came through all these small people in the church. We done came through all these small Jews, all these small Muslims, right? Okay, now, scratch that. Mike, before you was an Israelite, before you was a Jew, before you was a Muslim, before you did anything, you was born. God created Adam and Eve. Adam messed up. Eve messed up. So who's talking about God? Not nobody who messed up. They ain't gonna talk about God. So now the Bible tells us about Cain and Abel. Cain kills Abel. Abel was the one that let everybody know about God. Why? Cain was the wicked one. But come in church, Cain was jealous of Abel. See the lies that he told us? Okay, now. Cain killed Abel. Abel out the game. Right. Now here comes Cain. Cain lay there and find his woman. But the Bible said and he knew his way. Now he gave his son. Now he built a whole city for his son. Enoch. He keep coming down the line. Now we're going to get the meat. Then we're going to get the meat. Don't kill a man. Who's talking about God? Nobody. Nobody worry about God. Nobody talking about God. Now, here come God. God give Eve. Enoch. I mean, Seth. Seth. Seth, Seth going to have Enoch. That's us. Yes, sir. Before set, who talking about God? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. 
Before Enos who was talking about gold. Nobody. The woman knew what God had promised that woman in the garden. I'm going to put in between your seed and the serpent seed. I got you, baby. Don't, don't worry. I got, I got you. So when the woman gets set, God said, the woman said, oh, God kept his promise. God kept his promise. Why? Because Seth is the appointed one. He's the appointed one. You come down the line, the meat's going to have Noah. Noah is the deliverer. Where the hell we get this Hebrew Israelite stuff from? Where we get it from? Just a bunch of people running in my mouth, want to teach you something they don't know. So now I hate you, I hate you, you hate them, you hate them. Nobody knows what the hell they're talking about. Why? Because before we was any of that foolishness, we were born of God. Stop. Now, here come these fancy Negroes. Elohim. Okay. Yahweh. Okay. Jehovah. Okay. What the hell does it mean? Do you know? What do you know? Because if we deal with Yahweh, we're dealing with personal relationship with man. Amen. Personal relationship with man. But if we deal with hello, Elohim, we're dealing with creation. And in order to deal with creation, we got to go all the way to the first chapter of Genesis. In the first chapter of Genesis, God said that there be life. God that there be trees. God created a river. God created everything. That's Elohim. But let these Negroes tell him, well, Elohim, it's all about Jesus. It's all about hell. All this stuff was going on before you even came. Why? Because man had not messed up yet. So when God created all this stuff in place, it was in order of God. Order, boy. <laughs> How we This is why Paul said everything must be done what? Decent and in order. In that 18th chapter, he tells us about this woman who's bragging. How powerful she is. All that she has. And all they're doing is messing the world up. What is the order of God? Because before God showed up in the very first chapter, very first verse, the world was in nothing but chaos. It was dark. It was without God. It didn't have no form. That's chaotic. So when God stepped in, his glory stepped in, now it comes the order of gold. When we going to get back to the order of gold? Yes, sir. All yes, these lying people in these churches, all these lying people, some of these Muslims, all these lying people, some of these Israelites, they the hell with all that. Because you done messed us up. Nobody is bringing us back to the order the of gold. Go. Originator. Yes, sir. Yes. Originator, boy. <laughs> yes, sir. Boy. That's where we headed at, people. No. Go so you're going to pass the Negro. Show you how dumb we are in the church and everywhere else. <laughs> Abraham had Ishmael. Right. Ishmael is a what? A rat. If you study the Bible, you got Africa. What is Iran? Africa. Where is Egypt? Africa. All that food they are talking about is from Africa. Now, watch this. If Abraham had Ishmael, and he got the Ishmaelites, which is Iran, right. which are those people, which are the Muslims, right. what the hell are they talking about Christian for them? Because you read it, you read out the Quran. That's for the Muslims. So how you gonna give me a Quran and you gonna give me a Bible at the same time? If that be the case, you giving me Ishmael and you giving me Isaac. So what you want me to follow? Ishmael or Isaac? Uh-oh. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Come on. So who teaches who what? Because if I go with Ishmael, right. I gotta go with the Muslims. If I go with Isaac, I'm gonna wind up, I'm dealing with the Jews. But eventually, I'm going to wind up into Christianity. Now, if Jesus was the Savior, if Jesus was the one to come, when he came, where did he start the church at? Where? In Jerusalem. So that means Christianity, Christ, the mother of the church, the mother of Jerusalem. Yes. Hello. But they don't want to hear that. Because they bought a Jacob. Who the hell is Jacob? Jacob was a slickster. Jacob wasn't no good. Jacob's sons wasn't no good. When I read that boy in that chapter of Genesis, he's telling how dirty they was. They're killing people. They're sleeping with his women. They're doing all kinds of stuff. But you got to be an Israelite. The hell with being an Israelite. I'm a child of God. A father. Because I don't have no DNA to tell you where I come from. I don't know if I came from Lot. I don't know if I came from Esau. I don't know if I came from Lord. Little Bear. Abraham, other baby mama, five children. I don't know where I come from. But I do know this. If I call on God, he going to answer. I do know this. If I pray to God, he going to answer. I do know that. Damn where I come from. When you come to these fancy Negroes. Negro, y'all the one 
what started it. Because when Joshua uh -huh. led Israel right. into Canaan, Canaan was a land full of white folks. I don't know what they've been doing. I don't know what they've been doing. Right. God said, man, get these people ready. Right. Because ready. when I come back, things got to be in order. Right. And if they not right, I'm going to get them, mate. Come from a wonder hall. Don't be caught up in what she's doing, right. which is a Babylonian system. Right. And the Babylonian. stuff they've been teaching us, been right. teaching us to be a part of a Babylonian system. Right. Right. So see if you have right. any. Give God, God going to give you next line. Why? God coming back to put things back in order. Why? Adam couldn't do it. Adam didn't do it. So scratch all of the people in between. Here comes Jesus. Yes, sir. Now he's going to reign in the millennium uh -huh. for a thousand years. Why? Because Jesus is doing what Adam could not do. But here come these hateful Negroes. Y'all Jesus this, y'all Jesus that, damn right, my Jesus did it. My Jesus here today, my Jesus gonna be in the world, and my Jesus gonna be here. I don't know your God, the hell with you in your God. Whatever your God is, that's why you messed up, me brother. You can't tell me nothing, what you gonna tell me? When God brought the people out of Egypt, he said, I'm y'all God. I'm gonna feed you, I'm gonna give you something to drink, I'm gonna clothe you. I already told y'all crazy people to go around and get whatever y'all need from them people. So when y'all look from the people, y'all had everything y'all need. Y'all sure sure. had everything y'all need. That's right. Everything. I'm going to give you fresh food and I'm going to give you fresh water. But y'all took all the people gold. Y'all right. took all the people other stuff. Oh, man. But once yeah. again, here come. Say, man, what, 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 what they do with Moses at? Yeah. He's he taking too long. Say, he everyone, brother, we yeah. need a gold. Okay, well, give me y'all gold. Right. See how dumb we are? Israelite, that's how dumb we are. Watch out, bro. <laughs> now we're going to give heaven what God blessed us with. Right. To make our own goal. The can't speak. Bring it in today's time. Yes, Papa said, come on now, y'all got to get this, y'all got to get that. And y'all give all your money trying to build a goal. Mm -hmm. Trying to build a goal. And the minute that God don't answer, right. the minute that God don't speak, out, the minute that God don't give y'all what y'all want, that y'all man was on. Oh, I tell y'all to do that? That's how dumb you Negroes are. That's how dumb y'all. Well, the pastor told me what to do. What God told you to do. What did God tell you to do? God didn't tell you to do that. But for the love of money, for the love of money, so now you're going to teach me a book you don't know nothing about. In the beginning, God showed up because it was chaotic. He got it like a gig because it got totally out of hand. Right. Nothing but arrogance, right. nothing but deceit, and yeah. nothing but persecution. Because we love this word. Right. We know better than yeah. Lot's wife. We are no better than Lot's wife. What you say? Say, mm. so, let's go. Yeah, come on. Well, well, yeah. 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 I, 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 I thought he was doing it over there. <laughs> I, 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 I left my shoes. Right. No, no, I left my purse. Yeah. No, no, I, I had some friends over there. Yeah. Girl, look, the boys, the man said, let's go. Let's go. But she rather hold on to the world right. yes, than what the world is doing. Right. And a lot of us, that's why we scared to die. Because right. we so connected to this world. We don't want to be in the world. The hell with this world. The hell with this world. This world is messed up. Nothing but arrogance, nothing but deceit, and nothing but persecution. What else you have? A bunch of people going to teach you to kiss their ass to be a part of them. But y'all don't like kissing somebody's ass. If you trust God, well, if you come over here, Mike, you know, say, well, this is how we do it. If you come over here, you got to do this and that. Well, if you come over here, man, you go, hold me one. Yeah. Where is trust in God, people? Yeah. Where is trust in God? Yeah. The music industry, they're doing whatever they want to each other. Amen. Why? Because they want the money. Yeah. You got men running around in the entertainment industry with dresses on. Because yeah. they want the money. They'll make another man kiss another man for the money. They'll make a woman kiss another woman for the money. Why these Negroes will all go about a, a Hebrew life and the right, right. but they have Israelite. Look how messed up we are, Mike. Where is God?
Right. Hell to yeah. talk about the Lord. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. God. Yes, Lord. Now they begin to talk yes, about the Lord. That's right. Then we come down and we got Lamech. Uh huh. <laughs> Lamech have Noah. Right. Noah is the deliverer. Right. The but what's so beautiful about Noah? All Pastor gonna tell you he built the ark. Right. And he built the boat. And they got on the boat. Why? Why did God choose Noah? Why did Lamech get happen when he had Noah? Because when Adam messed up. God cursed the ground. Now man got to work. I'm too old to be working. I'm tired of working. Here come Noah. <laughs> Noah was working. <laughs> that boy was a builder. <laughs> <laughs> What's so hard about the Bible, man? Because nobody teaching us how to stay going. God don't just do stuff to do stuff. Right, that's right. So that's now, right. here come Noah. Right. And the Bible said he died. Uh -huh. Why he died? He said, nah, for the rest of the peace, boy. Uh -huh. We got somebody that's going to work. No more lazy Negroes. We got somebody going to do the work. So by Noah doing the work, God said, okay, Noah, put that book together. I already know you're working. Uh -huh. I already know you're working. It works. So now Noah is considered as the deliverer. Yes. Seth was the appointed one to right. bring forth the other one right. that's going to be the deliverer. Right. Right. That's right. Mary was appointed, just like the woman, Mary was appointed to bring forth the deliverer. Right. And when the deliverer came, he freed us. Mm. He freed us. Come on, man. So me. now, when I we go me. back in the days, <laughs> now we got Ishmael uh -huh. and we got Isaac. Right. But we got Hagar himself. Right. What y'all do with that? Hagar was of the flesh. Right. So was of the promise. Right. So now he didn't get to marry. Ham and Shem. Right. That's why God destroyed the world the first time. Because the godly seed was set into marriage with the ungodly line of Cain. So he didn't go to Abraham do the same thing. <laughs> he grabbed his woman. Right. That was in the flesh. Right. But several said, come on, let's get up and right. make the baby with her. Right. That's not what God said. No. Uh oh. That was God said. God said, you had that baby. <laughs> so now, so that was in the flesh. <laughs> But still, right. she had Isaac later. Uh -huh. That's of the promise. That's of the spirit. Right. So here come these passing Negroes, a bloodline, bloodline. Okay, got that. What bloodline Mary had? Wow, that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know that, they read that. Huh? Come on, guys. For God told Joseph. Uh -huh. What did he tell She is praying for the Holy Spirit. Right. Right. Uh -oh. Jesus said, I got to go. Uh -huh. But he going to send another. When another came, what was the another? The Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, you can do it now, my brother Brett. Oh, yeah, you bad. God huh? messed us up and he checked us. <laughs> right. But God is still on the phone. Sir. <laughs> He's looking. So now, yes, sir. if it was about what God started out in uh -huh. the beginning, right. when God showed up, wasn't no lights on. Right. Wasn't no moon. Wasn't no stars. Right. Wasn't no sun. Wasn't none of that. God did that four days later. Right. Mm -hmm. When God showed up, the glory of God yes. was present. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, all praise is due to God. And when it's all said and done, yes, sir. we will be in the presence of the glory yes, of God yes, forever. Yes, sir. But we got to come out out of her. You do. We got to get out of that yes, Babylon politics. We got to get out of the Babylon economy, right. yes. and we have to get out of the Babylon religion. Right. It's hard. It's hard, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let's go back to the Bible. Go ahead. Japheth, uh -huh. Ham, right. Shem. Yeah, right. Shem was the middle child. Yeah. <laughs> Why no mention him first? Right. Because the promise was gonna come through Shem. Sure. Yes, right. But watch this. Uh -huh. Ham had Nimrod. Wow. Nimrod gonna build him a build him a kingdom. <laughs> the first building of his kingdom was to get a bunch of Negroes together, right. and now we're gonna build a tower. Yeah. <laughs> See how the system started? Right. Yeah. The governmental system started right there with Nimrod. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the Bible said he did it in front of the Lord. Oh, see, he's going to eat fools again. <laughs> they just don't want to quit. 
Lord, yeah. So now God, they, they, it confused the languages. It's over 4,000 different languages. Mm. Yeah. That was the beginning of it. <laughs> God said, okay, do y'all. Y'all didn't have fun. So now he messed with man no more. Now here come Abraham and Lot. Right. Okay, Lot, where you going, bitch? <laughs> I'm going to go down in the night walk. Right. I'm going up top. I'm going up top. <laughs> yeah. Where you going, Abraham? Where you go? So Lot chose right. where he wanted to go. Sure did. Mm -hmm. Abraham wow. still allowing God to lead him. Right. Yeah. Because when God called him, God told him, I'm going to give you somewhere. I'm going to make your man great. I'm going to bless those who bless you. I'm going to curse those who curse you. Read the book, boy. So now, I go down in the night walk. Mm -hmm. Time for serving to have a baby. Right. God is going to look for what? Not no homosexuality. Because we want no law. Wasn't even no law. God going to look for righteousness. Right. Come on, now. So Abraham said, hold up, God, wait. Hold up, God, wait, wait, wait. If you find 50 righteous people, will you destroy them? Oh, I said, if I find 50, you good. Go ahead, you good. He said, well, how about 40? God said, if I find 40, you good. Well, how about 30? If I find 30, you're good. Well, how about 10? If I find 10 righteous people, when I get to Sodom and Gomorrah, I won't destroy it. He get to Sodom and Gomorrah, now the people want the, the man. They want the angels. The people want to have sex with the angels. Oh. This stuff has been going on. Ain't nothing new. They try to make it like this stuff. This stuff been going on. So now I say, hold up, bro. I'll give you my daughters, man. Yeah. We don't want no daughters. We want the men to have in here. So now the angels tell Lot, say, bro, get your family together. Let's go. Well, Lot, just like these good line preachers today, Lot go to talk to his son in laws. Say, bro, look, go about to destroy this place. Come on, y'all, let's go. Right. Who, 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 you, you want to leave you? <laughs> say, bro, you remember what you were doing yesterday? Now you want to talk about all today. Right. <laughs> Destroyed his testimony. Right. And all that line we've been doing in the church is to destroy our testimony. To now the people don't even believe us no more. The people don't even want to come to church no more. Because our testimony has been contaminated. Because they see what we have been doing. So now all I can do is get his wife and get his daughters and get up out of there. Because it wasn't even 10 righteous people. So now we're at the end of time. And once again, God is looking for righteousness. Amen. Where's the righteousness in the land? Where's the people? We're so selfish. We're so conceited. We're so arrogant. We tell a lie, we believe in ourselves. We done made wrong, right, and right, wrong because of the deception. Yes, sir. If God don't do to this place what he did to, to Sodom and Gomorrah, the Bible say God got to go back and apologize. Right, that's right. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. But we don't want to talk about that. The more preachers before you coming on, Brother Bradley, they came with the fire, the brimstone, you're going to hell, messages. That's what they taught us in the church coming up. Right. They come on new Negroes. We're going to put the suits on. We want the gold. We want the Mercedes. We want the Range Rovers. We want the Rose. We want the nice things. Yes, we want all the nice things. Mm -hmm. And we want, we want y'all to believe y'all going to get the same things. Yes, sir. Who? And in the women. In the women, Mike. In the women, Mike. Yes, sir. So watch this, Brother Brill. Mm -hmm. When Jesus come along, right. they pulled the hell to do a beard, man. Right. They spit on him. Right. Then they slap him in the face. Bow! Who is it? Oh Prophesy who is it? Where did Jesus ever have a luxury life? Wow. Where did Peter ever have a luxury life? Right. Where did John ever have a luxury life? Where did Paul ever have a luxury life? Oh, what the hell we want to have one for? Amen. What the hell we want to have one for? To make y'all believe God good? Mm. Well, I'll be damned. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but we the small ones. Yeah. See how they done played us? Yeah. So now we the 
you're not caught up in the Babylonian system right, right. of yeah. comfort and pleasure. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Because the majority of the pastors, man, it ain't your money that they buying your stuff with. He owned a company over there. So he's going to send me a Mercedes. That's right up. Okay. She owned a clothing company. In fact, my besides suits she wear. We got some suits over here. She's going to send me some suits. You a banker. You know who's going to default the whole nine yards. Mike, come sit in the back and hook you up. Watch out, boy. <laughs> oh, you on that system. She a doctor. Mike, come on, I got you. Where did your money take care of anything I just said? But then you're going to look at me like I'm doing something with the money. No. Only people take care of me. Yes. Mike, I was in the mall, man. I seen some shoes. You want a pair? I got you. My grandma had to pay for nothing. I know. Mm. The people don't do it. They don't do it. Because the people love the pastor. Yes. Tell them the yes. truth. Tell the people the truth, sir. But now we're going to tell y'all we need y'all money to get right. it done. Yes. This is why the church of Laodicea was so messed up. He said, y'all not hot nor cold. Right. Y'all got these people leaving, y'all got a name. When all the while, at the church of Laodicea, you had the banker, you had the clothing factory, yes. you had the people who did the housing, you had the people who worked at the um, doctor office, yes. all sitting on the front row mm. in the church. Mm. Okay. Mm. And everybody sitting on the front row, Looking out for the past. Yes. You do this for me, I'm going to do that for you. <laughs> when the people in the back row, when the people in the back row, well, why can't give this? Why do that? We got a $100 line, we got a $50 line, we got a $30 line. Man, I got my $5, but I still need a blessing. Yes. I ain't got my $5, but I got my $5. Yes. 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 I ain't got my five dollars, man. I still need a blessing. I ain't a Hebrew, but I still need a blessing. I ain't a Hebrew, like, but I still need a blessing. Hell, God, I ain't even a Jew, but I still need a blessing. See, where's God? Where's God? And that's how we done played y'all and manipulated you all in the church. We not even hot nor cold. Jesus said, y'all miserable. Wretched. Y'all wretched. Hey, y'all blind. Jump deep in there. Y'all thought y'all had it Y'all are still in these church to all the people alive. God said, Mike, a thousand churches come 2023, they're going to close. Ooh. They're going to close. You know why? Because Paul said, mm -hmm. the people will no longer want to hear what? And they're going to be sound afraid. Doctrine. Yes, sir. Fall in the way. Yes, there's going to be no more sound doctrine. No more sound doctrine. And now they're going to have itchy ears. Right. So now, Mike, if you ain't telling me what I'm going to hear, right. I'm going to hear you don't tell me what I want here, I'm going by you. You don't tell me what I want here, I'm going by you. To and fro, huh? Huh? Ain't nobody going to be in church. That's up. Uh, all in the way. Right. <laughs> because okay. now, okay. it's all about you telling me what I want what to hear. Be. Let's be still good. Oh, okay, D. How in the world these the preachers who done went to Bible college, who done went to seminary, uh -huh. how did they know this? Because they are a part of making sure they tell you what you need to hear because they're going to scratch your ear. Because I need that money, Mike. Right? So what is that to do for her generation? Right. Who won't do nothing about God? Talk about that. You're lost, Lord. Watch it. We'll fight each other. Oh, yeah. We'll fuss about a name. Two we'll do all that. Oh, yeah. right. Everybody, everybody, everybody in the Bible who God gave a name to, it was for a specific reason. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. For a specific reason. Jesus said, Jesus said, if you deny me, I'm going to deny you. He ain't never said nothing about no name. He ain't never said nothing about no name. Why? Because he going to call him Yahweh. He going to call him Yahshua. He gonna call him your Kahama. He gonna call him Great Job. He gonna call him Running Around Baptist. He gonna call him this. <laughs> call him what you want. You ain't denying him. 
You just called and was comfortable for you. Why? Because Jesus seen him. You my friend. And what the Father told me, I'm telling you. That's right, because right. you my friend. Why can't you? So where y'all get these names from? Where y'all get these names from? That's my friend. Oh, Jesus friend. my dude. Right. <laughs> Call him to the Bible. Oh, what a friend. He said, everything the Father has shown me, I've told you. Right. Because you my friend. Oh, you my friend. Didn't he do that with, good, with, with, with Abraham? Good, For the Bible said good. Abraham was God's friend. We been came to <laughs> what was the law? He was not living read. Yes, sir. Don't look like that every day. Right. Isn't that so? So just imagine if we just really start to get to love one another. Right, that's it. Because we hate one another for that's no it. reason. That's it, for no reason. For no reason. It's the devil, no reason. Dislike it for no reason. Yes, that's how the deceit that's how made his way in. But when you go in that Bible, 18th yes, chapter of Revelation, right. verses 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. He said, come from out of her. Right. I got y'all. I know what she done gave y'all. But I'm going to repay her double. double. Mm. She going to get double for what she done did to y'all. And the greatest thing in the world is deception. Yes. People, if it was about money, I would be filthy rich by now. Filthy rich. Right. But Fred, I know so well, sir. When the pandemic first started, right. I'm doing a thousand deals. A thousand. So all I gotta do is say, give me a dollar. Every day I'm asking for a dollar. So that's 30 days you done gave me a dollar out of a thousand people. That's thirty thousand mm dollars -hmm. in a month. Yes. In two months, that's sixty thousand. Yeah. And three months, that's ninety thousand dollars. And six months, I'm almost at two hundred thousand. Yeah. By the time I make a year, I'm at a half a million. Yeah. And you know, anybody want you get no one dollar? You go there. You play. Fifty cent. Be your rich. So if it was about money, may I be filthy rich with all the wisdom and knowledge God has blessed me with. I would be filthy rich because y'all don't give it. Y'all won't give it. Why? Because you've been deceived like that. But if you ever just stop and really get to know God and get to know God for yourself, if you ever just stop and understand the people in the Bible, the people in the Bible have I don't give a damn attitude. How the hell are you going to put me in some fire? If I can, hey, put me there. I don't give a damn. And the Bible says you turn it up seven times. Oh, my God. Boy, stop praying. If you don't stop praying, we're going to put you in the yeah. place, in the line. Stay for anybody in line. I don't give a damn. If I'm dead, he's in the line. Come on, man. But we want to worry about everything. The people in the Bible might. They have a don't give a damn attitude. Do whatever you're going to do. I know God got me. I know God got me. Yes, and then one person in the Bible God feeds. Yes, then one but they had to don't give a damn attitude. They believed and they trusted yes, sir. their goal. Yes, sir. Start to believe. Start to trust. Get to know God and get to know God for yourself. He will not fail you, man. The Bible says he will never leave you nor forsake you. Stop looking at that line that I told you in the church. Somebody going to show up in the midnight hour. How you going to show up in the midnight hour? Well, never leave me. All you got to do is mess up. <laughs> what you gonna do with it? So now we turn it around. Yes. <laughs> Seven times. You're gonna work in your favor. Right. You're gonna show up in the midnight hour. Man, we even got the children dancing. Looking for God to show up at the midnight hour. But the same person told us he'll never leave us nor forsake us. The same person took, told us, great is he that's in me than he that's in the world. So why in the world I gotta look for him at the 12 o'clock hour? Paul 
Paul. If I told you how the deacon hit you. But I can use you because you got you know something wrong with your voice, right? I believe you was in church that day when they made that song about Lazarus, when Jesus called him out the grave. And you the one started that foolish hell, have everybody in the church talking about some hush. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody calling my name, hush. <laughs> well, I know you don't like that, brother, brother. But that's the fool that y'all did to us, man. <laughs> you got to undo it, son. We got a bunch of fools in the church. It. Hush. <laughs> Somebody calling my name, hush. <laughs> but the same guy's going to stand in the, in, at the funeral and say, nah, we will go. How we go? So you gotta leave them up there with go. Come and be in the grave, yo. Cause somebody calling your name and then come out the grave. <laughs> oh y'all done messed us up. Y'all want the problem? He's a problem. We messed up, my brother. Oh, he's a problem. They say no game. Yes, sir. Who is your victim? Yes, sir. In the hurtful part, we taught that to our children, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Stay where you damn <clears throat> Mr. Brown, I'll never forget this. I'm done. I'll never forget it. We gotta go out the same place. But they went. <laughs> Mr. Brown. Your God. Mr. Brown. Isaac was old. Uh-huh. He was old. Right. Something was wrong with Isaac's eyes. Right. With them. Something was wrong with his eyes. Yeah. But Rebecca right. loved Jacob yes, more than she did Esau. Mm -hmm. So Rebecca, Mama, now my Mama did favoritism. Oh yeah, she ran gay. Mama dressed yeah. Jacob up right. like Isaac yeah. and brought Jacob to Isaac to get the blessing. Isaac grabbed him. Oh, look, brother. You feel like Esau. You feel like Esau. Yeah, you feel like Esau. You feel it. Yeah. But you sound like Jacob. Yeah. Uh, okay. Come on. The Bible says he didn't have an ear. Yeah. Let him hear what thus says the Lord. Yes. Yeah. Isaac said, Oh, look, wait. You sound like Jacob. But you feel like Esau. Yes, yeah. In the church, Big E, we've been having y'all operate out of y'all feelings. Out of your feelings. Yes. That's why y'all can't do what God is saying. Right, sir. But if you yeah. ever stop right. to listen to what God's saying, right. Isaac gave us the game. Isaac said, hold on, wait, bro. Huh. You feel like you Esau. Feel like Esau. Mm -hmm. Because Esau was here. Yeah. Right. Yes. Okay. But when you talk, you sound like Jacob. Right. Right, sir. I know how I'm feeling. Right. But do I go by what I'm feeling? Why? Or by what I'm hearing? Or what you heard. What you heard. Every day God is speaking to us. Every day. But yet we go on by how we feel. Right. right. We go on by how it looks. You hear me now? <laughs> and that was the beginning of fall of man. Right. Mm. Yes, because sir. he covered. Himself. The Bible said the tree was pleasant right. to his to eyes. Make one I eyes. mess you up, boy. Y'all done learned he yes. And this world done taught y'all to go by what you see. Right. Yeah. Uh, with your not feet. what you hear. See it with your feet. Yes, sir. Hear see. So we done, church. Good, son. Good they done manipulated us, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah. They gave us the dress first. Yeah. Yeah. What color the dress? Some people say blue. Some people say black. Right. Some people say green. Right. The people laugh, say, these food don't even know what color dress dress is. <laughs> Then after they did that one, they said, okay, call this. Tell me what you hear, Laurel or this other name. So now society was prepping us up on how to think as far as what we see and how to hear. Mike, I called a the number. They said, Laurel. I waited a few minutes, called it back and gave another name. So I started dialing the number back to back to back to back to back to back. So they said, Laurel two times, said another other name one time. Said it now, Laura two times, said the name, other name one time. So now we're arguing about what we call 
What we heard. All right, bro. Wow. That's good, bro. Everybody, yeah. yeah. Oh. And y'all smart. <laughs> you gotta get that. That's what you hear. <laughs> they already know the average person color blind. Right. So everybody right. wants to see the same way. Because none of us in here the same oh, way. The same way, yeah. Mike, I'm, 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 I'm on my way. And the song came on. How the song go? Uh, go back where we started. You know, the, the man in the lady singing the song. He said, but my mom already raised me. When I was a child, my mom already raised me. And she said, yeah, that's cool, but, you know, uh, so I have a song book, right? Because everybody sees things different. I wasn't raised like you was raised. She wasn't raised like you was raised. She wasn't raised like you was raised. So now you got two people coming together who was raised different. Right. Trying to come on one accord. Ain't gonna right. never happen. Ain't gonna happen. Boy. Ain't never happen. Never happened. You know why? Because I always know where I came from. The man said, let's go back to the basics. What's the basics? What the hell is the basics? When I met you, I was 12. Now I'm 32. What's the basics? You want to treat you like I was 12? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, guys. Yeah. Yes, sir. See how messed up we are, people? <laughs> but the Bible ain't tell us to do it from the flesh. The Bible is spiritual. Right. Yes. That's a spiritual book. Right. God is a spirit. So when y'all connect yourself with the spirit of God, yeah. oh my God. Mm -hmm. Ever hear you bow eyes closed? Yes, sir. Yeah. Most gracious and heavenly Father. Father God, we thank you. Thank you. Father God, we thank you. Thank we thank you for all you've done, for all you're doing, and all you're about to do. Father God, we thank you for opening our blinded eyes, yeah. unstopping our deaf ears, losing our dumb tongue, and causing us not no longer to be like For your mercies, call upon you, and you will ask and show us mighty and great things we know not. Your mercy that the race is not given to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, for time and chance Happen to them both. Father God, we thank you for this appointed time that you have allowed.